Did you know that most electric power plants, including wind farms, hydro dams, nuclear and coal stations, generate electricity the same way, using electromagnetism? Yet, spinning coils inside a magnetic field is only one of the six ways electricity can be produced. In this video, we'll talk about all different ways that electricity can be generated. Let's begin. Number 1. Static Have you ever walked across a carpet to pet your dog? and got a static zap instead? Why is that? You see, electricity is not added to an entity, but rather it's something that is always there. Static electricity is the result of an imbalance between negative and positive charges in an object. These charges can build up on the surface of an object until they find a way to be released or discharged. One way to discharge them is through a circuit. A lightning bolt is a huge release of static electricity in which built-up electrical potential energy shoots from the sky to the ground. Number 2. Chemical In 1799, Alessandro Volta proved that electricity can be generated chemically as he observed an electrical current when he combined a pile of alternating copper and zinc discs separated by paper drained in an acid. Although today his device, the voltaic pile, is mainly known to us as a battery, it is in fact a source of electrochemical energy. Chemical energy is also produced inside the human body. Certain cells, called excitable cells, produce a small electrical charge called a nerve impulse. These impulses are a key part of how messages are sent within the human body. Number 3. Magnetic In 1831, Michael Faraday noticed that if you place a copper disc inside a magnetic field and turn it, a stream of current was generated between the center and the edge of the disc. His device became known as the Faraday disc, which ultimately inspired the invention of the dynamo and magnetic generators that today produce most of the power on the grid. Whether it's a windmill, a hydroelectric dam, or a nuclear power station, they all rely on driving turbines that make coils spin in a magnetic field to produce electricity. Number 4. Piezoelectric Piezoelectricity is the electric charge that accumulates in certain solid materials such as quartz, sugarcane, and Rochelle salt in response to applied mechanical stress. Ever wondered where that electric spark comes from when you ignite a cigarette lighter or a push-start barbecue? It's piezoelectricity. Another use of piezoelectricity effect is in quartz clocks. If compressed, quartz generate electricity, or reversely, if electricity is applied to it, it bends. Because the signal it produces is not affected by temperature or movement, quartz is often used as a time reference source, hence the quartz watch. Number 5. Thermal A difference in temperature can produce a potential difference, and therefore electric current. This is known as thermoelectric effect. Devices that use this effect can generate electricity when there are different temperatures on each side of an object. Power plants often use this effect to convert waste heat energy into additional electric power. Similarly, some cars use automotive thermoelectric generators for increased fuel efficiency. Finally, space probes use radioisotopes to generate heat differences which translates into electricity. Number 6. Optical In 1839, Edmund Becquerel discovered that gold plates unevenly exposed to sunlight produced an electric current and that's how solar power was born. Unfortunately, for over a century, this phenomenon went unnoticed until the 1960s when the solar panels were put on a satellite to generate power. Decades later, improved efficiency and reduced costs made solar panels increasingly widespread. Nevertheless, in 2018, solar power in the United States only accounted for 1.7% of the total electricity generated. If you learned something new from this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please do leave us a comment. See you in the next video.